Field going to work through turns three and four this time to the NOS Energy Start. Can we go to green for the first time of the USAC and Foil Sprint Car National Championship? Here at the dirt track in Indianapolis, Field going to barrel onto the back straightaway. Advantage right now will be to the 21AZ. Work at bottom side, leaves it open though with the exit of turn number four. Mitchell Moles going to try to step on by, could not quite get there in time. Versus leads on the back straightaway. Moles trailing the 57 to Logan CB now into the top side of the speedway. The 3P in pursuit of him. They leave the bottom open, and here comes Robert Ballou. Ballou in the 12 trying to take him to the third spot so far. Not able to get there. It'll be CB holding on to it for the time being. They're three wide to the back straightaway. Sneaking in on the bottom side. Here comes CJ Leary. Ballou tries something on CB. They go three wide, and the 15 is there to capitalize. CJ Leary up into third. Robert Ballou still running in the fourth spot. Now, the Abate wins the door number three. He's going to hang the Hoosiers high up the back straightway. Logan C is coming back after him. Kevin Thomas Jr. right there as well. As up front, Dason Persley trying to add another one to the list here as they work off into turns at three and four. They work onto the back side of the speedway. 13 laps to go in this one. CJ Leary continues to ride in third. He's going to work to the bottom. Moles to the middle. The 21 AC all the way up against the wall over on turns three and four. Goes to the bottom over on turns one and two. Moles still through that middle groove. CJ Leary down to the bottom once again. Robert Blue still running in fourth. And it will be the Avante one of the door number three. P.O. Kyle Cummins running in fifth. Logan CB had him running up in the top three earlier. Steadily back to the six. Kevin Thomas Jr. at seven. Chase Stocking, Gil, Drake, Carson, Garrett right now running up to running order. Pursley bouncing off the wall a little bit. Holds on to the race lead. Leary enters to the middle, dimes it down to the bottom, gets a big launch onto the back straightaway. Might have found a new line over in turns one and two. Works the bottom side up and turn number four up in the second. Rolls the BGE Darty Motorsports number 15. Not quite to the middle of that time of the entry to number one. Still down around the bottom side of the speedway. Jason Persley, you're about to have company. Here comes Leary at the line. You'll have a new leader. CJ Leary by .05 takes over the top spot for Persley. The team Arizona Racing. Third back at Janey and number 21 falls to second. Banks are off to the boards one more time. Around the first grade loop, we've got seven to go. It is Leary, Percy, Mole, Ballou, Cummins, still your top five. Trying to get things wound up, back up one more time on the high side of the speedway. With six laps remaining, it is the Altos Power Club number 15X with two laps remaining. Firstly, trying everything he can as they come around to the wave of the white flag. One to go. He's going to bottle it up on the cushion that time, and he's going to hand all kinds of breathing room back to C.J. Leary. Final two turns coming up. Pursley going to take one more shot on the high side of the speedway. Checker flag going to drop here at the dirt track at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and C.J. Leary going to get the job done at 15. He will win the Stoops Invitational. He's going to crawl out of his race car, top of the cage. Give him a hand, your winner. First ever to win in a sprint car here on this racetrack. Never take it from him. His fifth overall win of the season, his second time with the USAC Sprint Car National Championship, an exhibition race. So it will go down into the record books. And he'll work on getting the helmet off. He gets a nifty trophy here tonight. The high fives, crisp as ever. Down in victory lane. And we'll send it down trackside. Man, this team has been fighting for this one since Ocala in February. The first driver, the first car ever to win at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with the Amsoil USAC National Sprint Car Series. It's an invitational race. Ten cars among the best in the world with the non-wing sprint cars. How special does this one feel? Man, pretty special. Uh, I didn't know if we knew how to win anymore. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, we put a lot of effort into this. Uh, honestly, when they redrew the eight, we were back there contemplating on not even running, but uh, we came out here to put on a show for the fans, and uh, we had a really good race car. This thing was was dialed in. Uh, last time this car ran was at Kokomo during Sprint Week, and uh, it ended pretty poorly, and I didn't like it that night. So uh, I think my opinions changed a little bit. It's, uh, it's obviously pretty good, so I uh, mean, we'll take this one to the Berg. How tricky was it to adapt so quickly to a racetrack that this car has never seen before? Um, you know, I came here and tested two years ago, and I feel like that gave me a little bit of an edge, and um, we knew we knew uh, kind of what gear to run and uh, just a little bit of about what to think. So, uh, you know, we ran some small tracks this year, the Action Track and uh, Macon, so our short track program had gotten a little bit better. Typically, we're, uh, we're, you know, a little bit better on the bigger racetracks, but this year we haven't been good at anything, so it feels good to be here in victory lane. Um, you know, it's an invitational race, so uh, just just super cool to be down here in Victory Lane. Uh, you know, I've ran here 
since the start of BC39, and I've never really done very good, so uh, it feels good to win something. Started deep in this one, put it in victory lane, and you mentioned heading into Lawrenceburg in just a couple of weeks. How does this propel that? Huh. Oh, really good. You know, we need to we need to make some money. Like I said, we lost a transmission in my truck last week, so we're going to have to pay for that. And uh, hats off to Brock and Doug for sticking this year out. I know it's been a tough year, and we haven't won as many as we wanted. But, um, you know, like I said, no lack of effort. Me, Zach, and my dad have just been pounding away in the shop, just trying to figure out what we're missing. And um, I think we might have caught on to something. CJ Leary goes down in the history books as the first driver ever to pick up a win at the dirt track at IMS with the Amsoil USAC National Sprint Car Series. He picks up your Stoops Pursuit with the Sprint Cars tonight for the sixth running of the Driven to Save Lives BC39 presented by Avanti Windows and Doors.